I don't know why I'm so into it. Look at my hands. That's what I'm saying when I do that. I don't think the world is ready. Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm gonna do my very first on-camera scratch box unboxing. I don't know if they call it scratch box, but I think it's just scratch. I'll just read what it says on the box to let you know what it is. Scratch is an LA based nail wrap company that acts as a platform for creatives of all backgrounds to make their art on a new medium and grow their audience. And it's GoScratchIt.com. They sent me a box last month and I wanted to just open it and see what it was like, see the quality of the nail wraps and really like learn about what it was because I was already really, really interested. I think this is a really cool idea. The nail wraps are unique. I love nail wraps because they're easy. Um, I don't know, I was just all around excited about this subscription box and you probably already know I've been looking for a new subscription box to like and I've tried a few and they just kind of randomly sent it to me and I got excited about it and I posted an Instagram and I showed my nails and I really liked them. They lasted on me like about a week. They did chip. They weren't like, you know, bulletproof or anything like that, but they're cool because they're unique and they're easy to do and everyone was like, how did you do that? I have that box so I can show you what came in that one, but then they sent me another one so I'm going to do like an actual unboxing. I feel like I'm already like 100% on their team and I don't want to speak too soon and like say they're so incredibly awesome when I don't even know what's in this box, so let's open it and find out. I also really like how they did their packaging. It's just... It's just pretty cool. And I looked at their site and it says that you get a box every month for $30. And that kind of sounds like a lot, but if you like nail wraps, um, they're usually like, I don't know, I've seen some for like $5, but I've never tried those because I always thought like they probably weren't very good. I'm not sure. But um, the ones I've got, like the Sally Hansen ones, I think they're like seven or ten dollars, something like that. There's just so much you can do with nail art at this point. It's just like, it's a cool option and it kind of makes sense because you don't even have to go to the store or anything. Okay, so I avoided looking at what was going to be in this box and everything online, but I do recognize the name, Hannah Rocks Nails. And it says, da, 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 thank you. These designs were inspired by love, stained glass, candy dots, and color. Blah, blah, blah. These colorful wraps will get you in the mood for spring. I'm so into spring right now. I'm so over winter, so that's good. And it says in this box, three nail wrap sets tools and accents, and a surprise gift. Cool. I think it's kind of like a Valentine's themed thing, which it's already past Valentine's. I didn't get it in time for Valentine's, but you know what? That's fine with me because I like Valentine's themed things with the hearts and the red and the pink and the pretty girly stuff all year round. Not gonna lie. Oh, other side note that I learned online. You can buy the nail wraps individually, and I think they're only like $12 if you don't want to do the whole box thing. So that's always a nice option. Okay, so let's look at the nail wraps first. Look, little polka dot paper. Very nice. I totally save cute tissue paper like that and reuse it. Not even ashamed. I used to do it all the time with birch box paper. Like if you got a giveaway box from me, it would have like birch box paper in it. <laughs> okay, these are pretty much ultra cute and very, very spring time B. First off, this one is like extreme Valentine's, which I'm very excited about, even though Valentine's is totally over. Oh, and some of these are really cool because they're like transparent and it has the design on it. So it would just be like your nail with the design. Oh, that is very cool. All about that. The next ones are these kind of like stained glass looking like neon pattern with all kinds of colors and yeah that's cool it's kind of like a mosaic theme and then these totally remind me of I don't know what it is is it like that bubble gum that looked like band-aids or something or like zebra stripes what kind of like little kid candy from my childhood am I thinking of I have no idea but that's what this reminds me of it could just be twister the game Twister, I'm not sure. But these are like ultra, ultra springtime. Like I actually might need to hang on to these for a while because I don't I, I don't think the world is ready for this amount of spring nails. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan of all of these. I'm gonna show you the nail wraps that I got last month just so you get a better idea. I don't know why I'm so into it. Okay, and for the accessories, this is very cool because it's not like, oh, you just get the nail wraps. Like you get a bunch of other stuff, which I'm not even sure what this is. Hold on. I'm consulting my card and it says this box includes a bunch of adorable heart rhinestones, a wax pencil rhinestone picker, and a sharpener for your picker. It's a picker. It's a wax pencil so it'll make it easier to pick up the little tiny baby rhinestones and their little tiny hearts. 
Ooh, my heart is bursting. I'm so in love with this. This is so right in my style. Like heart anything, give it to me. You also get a mini little file with like a soft side and then a rough side and you use this to put on the nail wraps. If you want me to make a tutorial or something of how to put on nail wraps, I mean it's kind of the same with any nail wrap. I can totally do that. Just let me know down below. And you also get a sharpener for your picker. I, I kind of love calling this a picker. Anyway, and this is the last thing in the box and it's, I can't remember what the extra one was in the last box, we'll see. It's the Choco Love Cherries and Almonds in Dark Chocolate, I don't know, chocolate bar, I've never heard of this, but I guess it's going with the whole Valentine's theme. I love chocolate, so I'm totally okay with that. So that's everything that came in my February box. I'm pleased again, I think this one is pretty worth it. Um, I'm gonna show you very, very, very quickly what came in my January box, just so you know, cause I didn't talk about it before. I did post the Instagram, so you did see the, the wraps, but you, I mean, you didn't get to see the other stuff. The three nail wraps look like this. I haven't used these two, but I did use these. I like went nuts about these immediately cause they remind me of like, Andy Warhol. I know it's the whole like PSA thing and it looks like TVs on your nails, but it just reminds me of Andy Warhol with like the color blocking and I don't know. I'm a huge Andy Warhol fan, so that's where my mind goes. And then there's like kind of like tribal-ish kind of motif on this one. And then these are kind of like a nautical rope thing. I don't know. I think they're both like totally springtime appropriate. They're not like specifically winter. But they're cool and I know I could not do these designs on my nails with some paint because I don't have that kind of patience or talent. I'm sure I could develop the talent. There are plenty of good tutorials on YouTube, but I'm just saying, I don't have the patience. For the nail accessories in that box, I got this little uh, nail art brush. It's like a super tiny detailer. I don't have one of these and I've definitely needed one. I keep seeing these really cool like just line nail arts, like super basic, but it's just like one tiny line this is what I needed and I had no idea. So I'm gonna try that. And then another file, just like in the February box. And then I think the extra was this really cool, like super chunky glitter holographic nail polish. And I have not used this, but I have swatched it. And the only reason I haven't used it is because like, I feel like it's gonna have to be an occasion because getting off super chunky glitter polish is kind of treacherous for me. And like I said, I have no patience. Also in that box, I got this goofy little ring and it's like a midi ring. Oh no, it fits on my ring finger. This is like my skinniest finger, I feel. And it's like gold sunglasses. They're so weird, but I totally like them. They're just like oddball and I'm into it, okay? So you put on your nail wraps and you wear your sunshade ring. Look at my hands. That's what I'm saying when I do that. Anyway, so that's everything that was in my box. Um, a lot of times I open these random subscription boxes and I'm pretty critical and I'm pretty skeptical because I mean, I've been there, I've done that. And sometimes this stuff starts sucking and sometimes it's not worth it and you feel like you're just blowing your money. And so I really want to look at it and be like, is this worth my time? Do I really actually want to like make a video about it? And I was actually super pumped to make a video about this because I think this is something you guys would probably like because I like it. Maybe we like the same things, hopefully. Anyway, I think that I'm gonna continue on with the boxes. Do you think that's a good idea? Are you guys interested in seeing that? Thumbs up this video if you like it and you wanna see more, cause I wanna do more of what you wanna see. Yeah, that's it. So if you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. So you can also hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, Google+, everywhere. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my new videos all the time. I like it when you do that. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You're the reason why I do what I do. I love you, you are my people. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I'm not really sure. Ooh, the thing just fell off. Um, I didn't do it, but it's free people. It is a leather skirt and it's just like a skater skirt, a leather skater skirt. How much, how much, how much better could it get? I don't know. Um, 